here with Marty Vlasheen to preview the 2017 indoor track and field season, first of all. Uh, I think the most obvious difference for the track and field programs going into this year is you have a different head coach you know, with, with Matt Beisel. Mm -hmm. uh, you got, a, a, of course, a, accustomed to his coaching style with yeah. during cross-country season. Um, just what are the things that, that you like most about the way he approaches things? Um, he's very enthusiastic and always encouraging. Every day would consist of a little word of the day and then you know, team prayer, team cheer, and then we get going. So it's just a different culture, but really good. Now last year, I know you qualified for, for indoor nationals as part of the, the 4x4. I'm sure it was a little bit tough not being there outdoor uh, yeah. with, with what happened. Uh, what, what was going through your mind when you're kind of seeing your teammates uh, win a national championship in Alabama? It was really surprising, but yet we had a great team, and we have a great team, so they hit the expectations and it really exceeded them, so it was exciting, and the media really blew up, so it was like, oh, I really want to be there, but I was really happy for them, and it was really good to see our team come back and, you know, bounce after the guys, so it was really good. One real, really key scene here, there are quite a few that actually from last year that are no longer here, yeah. but one of those is was Kim Wood, who yeah. you got to run alongside mm -hmm. with for a yeah. while. Uh, what were maybe some things that, that you admired about her and that you'd want to emulate to, yeah. in the way that, that you compete? Oh, well, <laughs> Kim is very expressive and she's always encouraging and always has a smile on. So those are some things I'd like to carry over. Um, she always has a great attitude no matter how many races she's running. And she's, again, super encouraging. So just to keep carrying that legacy on, it's really cool. I know at the indoor conference meet last year, you were in the 800 and, and a couple relays. Are, are those, again, maybe the, the big uh, events that you're focusing on? Can you tell us how yeah. things um, are going for you? Well, I did cross country this year, so that was a first. Um, so getting more distance under my belt, but still competing in like the six and the 800 and still the two relays. So any of those are up for game for races at all run, so. And we got a few freshmen that are going to be helping out in those areas too, so. Can you tell us a little bit about how those yeah. those relays are coming along? You made it to, to nationals, like yes. you mentioned, in indoor. Uh, I'm, I'm sure that's kind of what you're hoping again. To, yeah, definitely to... always qualifying is the goal. Um, well, I know we have a strong group of middle distance seniors, so hopefully we can keep that up uh, in the 4x4. Four four. And the 4x8, um, there's quite a few that could possibly be on that team, it's kind of up for grabs, so it'd be really exciting to get both of those qualified there. As we record this, it's been four days, I believe, yeah. since the blue-white at your squad meet. What did you kind of learn from, from that first time out? Well, last, in, it's my last inner squad meet, so it was like, let's just have some fun. Um, so this was kind of, at least for me, I got really nervous, but I was like, why am I nervous? <laughs> um, but just to get a race under my belt, um, definitely have some hard Christmas break workouts to do. Um, but it was good for the freshmen and the newcomers to get a little experience of what indoor is like. And I really enjoyed it. And we had a pretty decent crowd that came. Now, when you're at large meets or you're at a national championship meet, what, what kind of respect have you noticed that, that you get when you're wearing the, the Concordia colors? Because, <laughs> I mean, obviously... Concordia definitely has a reputation now, so that's really cool. Um, conference is going to be a little bit more competitive because we have, you know, championships under our belts that we're trying to compete for um, with nationals and with conference. So just again, you know, wearing uniforms of integrity and wearing Christ on us and um, just keeping up that, like, sportsmanship. And I think people respect that. It's a little bit of intimidated. Yeah, I would maybe? say yeah. maybe. Maybe not for me, but maybe some of the throwers are intimidating, but... <laughs> what, what kind of things have you and your... I mean, I'm sure you talk more about expectations mm -hmm. within... Uh, you know the, the event group that you're yeah. within more often but what kind of expectations do you 
talk about and, and feel are attainable for you know maybe on a lar smaller mm -hmm. scale within the, the events you're in and then right. also as a, a, a team um, well, I definitely think that qualifying relays, and for me personally, I would like to qualify individually um, for nationals in either indoor or outdoor, or both would be great. <laughs> um, but on a large scale, I would say that um, we're hoping, again, to you know, place well at nationals, whether that's first or second or third. I mean, it just depends on how the meets go, but definitely high expectations. We have a lot to... Uh, a team for. Okay, and, and last thing is a, a quick <coughs> lightning round. Uh, there's some holiday questions. Okay, go for it. But short answers. <laughs> okay. Favorite Christmas song? Joy to the World. Uh, how about a Christmas movie? Uh, a Christmas Vacation. Are there any holiday traditions that, that you have to have to do every year with um, family? Or? We always open our presents on Christmas Eve. Who's the, the funniest teammate? Oh, gee. I don't know. They all are. <laughs> what would be the thing you'd miss most about being part of Concordia Track and Field? Oh, the teammates, for sure. What's the athletic accomplishment during your life so far that you're most proud of? Um, my freshman year, we were yeah. um, All-American. That was my favorite. Why would you recommend Concordia to high school athletes? <clears throat> the atmosphere, just the people around you, just the community feel that you get. A famous person that you'd most like to meet? <laughs> oh, gee. Uh, I don't know, Julia Roberts. Uh, what's the last song that you danced or sang to or sang out loud? Oh. It was this morning for sure. Um, I, I don't know. I can't tell you. Probably too many of them. And you're too embarrassed to I know. say. I don't okay. want to say. <laughs> uh, this is the last one. Favorite thing about Seward? Obviously, you've spent some time. I spent a lot Seward. of time in Seward. Um, I liked Fourth of July. <laughs>